Mattingly lost his wedding ring inside the spacecraft on the second day. Well, we landed on the moon on the fourth day, and on the seventh day we left and rendezvoused, and he's still looking for this ring now, five days later. So uh, uh, we uh, uh, started home on the eighth day, uh, and on the ninth day we had a spacewalk, or EVA, and we were about 180,000 miles from the Earth. And, uh, so uh, the, the plan was John, uh, John would stay inside and Mattingly and I would get outside and he was the, and I was the safety observer really. So he fl floats out first and goes to the back of the spacecraft to start his experiments and I float out and just sort of hooked my feet in the side of the hatch and w had his lifeline and was sort of a safety guy. And uh, so I didn't have anything to do and the uh, earth was beautiful over here and the moon was up here and, so after about uh, 45 minutes to an hour, I floated back inside because he was finished at the back. Now he had an experiment to do that was anchored to the hatch uh, by a three meter pole. So 10 feet away was this biological experiment. So he climbs out and, and is working on this experiment with his back to me. And, I, and I'm watching this, the sun's glistening uh, off of him and it's just you know, a beautiful sight. And something catches my eye and I look over and there's his wedding ring floating uh, out <laughs> the hatch. Uh, and it's just slowly moving and I'm at the bottom of the spacecraft and, and I get wedged in so I, by the time I broke loose, uh, I, I, I floated after it and it just cleared the hatch and I grabbed for it and I missed it. So it was lost in space is my, <laughs> my thought. And so, it, and, and then the sun hit it, and it's just glistening in the sunlight, rolling over and tumbling, and slowly floated out. About five minutes later, it hit him on the back of the head. Uh, now, the physics of a round helmet and a round ring colliding, and then where's it going to go? The possibility of doing a 180 degree bounce and coming back for the hatch is almost zero, but that's exactly what it did. So it hit, hit, it hit the helmet and it started slowly back towards the hatch and about five minutes later it floated back into the hatch right in front of my face and I grabbed it. <laughs> so that's the end of the story. Happy ending. <laughs>